Hi guys, I hope you're well and welcome back and hello if you are new. I am the Budgeting Wing Woman and today I am sharing with you all a bonus cash stuffing. Yes, we have had some returns and some Christmas money and things like that. So we have around £170 to cash stuff today. So I'm just going to count that all with you. So that's 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, and 70. So 170 pounds to cash stuff, which I'm super excited about. And it's a bonus cash stuffing as well, which means we can bulk up those savings accounts, which is really, really exciting. I can't wait to start building on a lot of the saving challenges that we've got and things like that, because there was a lot for us to work on. So if you want to see me cash 170 pounds, then just continue to watch. Okay, so I did this in my last video, so I think I'm going to carry on with it, but let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of thing. But I'm a massive fan of gratitude, manifesting, the law of attraction, and I thought we would do a card poll. So these are Super Attractor card deck, and they're all about attracting good things, positivity, abundance, gratitude, all that sort of thing. So I thought I would share this with you at the beginning of each video, but let me know if you like this kind of thing or if you're not interested in the comments. I'm going to put a card for us today, see what we get, and I do find that these are very, very relevant. Like every time I've pulled a card, they've been very relevant to me and my day and everything else. So this time, each time I choose to tune into spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. I really, really like that one. I do really feel like these are very open to interpretation as well for your own personal circumstances. For me, this one is kind of saying when I decide to listen deeply to what I'm thinking and really kind of my own values and my own thoughts and things that I want to do, that the guidance shows me the right way and tells me that I'm doing the right thing. But obviously, again, you can interpret these any way you like, but I think that's a really, really great card pull for today. Okay, so we are jumping straight in. Now, for anybody that watched last week, you will know that I basically got hammered on so many challenges. So today, with this bonus cash stuffing, my plan is to actually fill in a lot of like the scratch and saves that really kind of knocked me down. But I've actually said that as a priority, I'm gonna be making sure I stuff at least 50 pounds in my sinking funds, um, either high or low priority. So to start off, we are going to pop a 10 into our emergency fund. Now, I was actually testing something out the other day and I scribbled one of these in already. So I don't actually need to color this one in. That one's already been filled in for me. So we're gonna pop that one in. So that one, as you can see, now has 20, 40 and 50. And again, I've said before, an emergency fund isn't our highest priority, but it is something that we would like to work on. Then next up is debt. So today in debt, I'm gonna pop five pounds. Now I do have other saving challenges that I'm contributing towards debt, but I also do wanna start, you know, ticking it off. So I'm gonna cross off debt. And there we have five pounds on that challenge and I'm gonna leave that one to dry over there. And then next up, we have vehicle maintenance. Vehicle maintenance is going to get a five today. I actually need to get my car cleaned so badly. So hopefully we can do that soon. So that's got 20 and five going in. I've also got an MOT due on it as well in a couple of months. So I really want to start getting saving for that. Health is also going to get five. So we now have a five and 10. And I might pop that in there and replace that with a 10, like so. Then we are gonna be stuffing for the first time our one week ahead one. I'm so excited for this. We're gonna be popping a five into one week ahead. So I know it's only a small amount, but I am so excited to get started with this. I'm actually gonna color this in, in this pink color. Oh, it doesn't come out very well. which is really exciting. I mean, I'm so happy to have finally started. I have the build a buffer challenge in here. This in total saves 500 pounds. And our one week ahead is basically to get one week ahead of all of our finances. So that if my husband wants to take a week off because we're self-employed, we know that our bills are still covered. So I'm really excited to be digging into that one. And then nothing else is going into this binder. 
And then we have our low priority binder. So this one is gonna get some money in the boys' haircuts. So we're gonna pop a 10 in there. And actually what we can do is we can pop them two 10s and pop in a 20. Now we have 20 and five for the boys to go and get their haircut. So I have three boys and my husband. So there is a lot of, <laughs> a lot of haircuts for the boys in this one. And then I actually feel like, one second, I don't know whether my nails one, oh, here we go. My nails one's actually in here still. I thought it was. But I've not been using this. I've really been doing a no spend week this week. So I've not really been using much at all. Let's pop my nails one back in here. I did wonder why it wasn't at the front. Um, so my nails one needs five pounds in it. I have my nails done at the weekend. So we're just building this back up. My nails have actually gone up in price now, which is a little bit frustrating. They've gone up by another two pounds. They just keep going up and up and up at the moment. So. I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that, but it's just something we're gonna to have to deal with. So then we are gonna move on to this one here. Nope, not that one there. Maybe this one here, no. Nope. Oh my goodness, it's gotta be this one here. Yay, <laughs> so we're gonna move on back to back to school and back to school is going to be getting five pounds in there today i actually need to get my son some new school shoes so this one now has 10 and 15 in it and we are going to tick this off And this is one of my challenges that's available in my shop. If you haven't seen, my shop is now open. I'm selling envelopes and wallets, and I'm also selling these challenges. And I have a free little challenge as well at the moment for Galentine's. So do go and head on over. I have a huge sale going on at the moment with 20% off as an opening sale. So do go over and check that out. But we're gonna pop the 15 in there. And then, So this is my events binder. So what I've actually decided to do with my events binder is actually roll a dice, roll a six sided dice. And essentially I'm gonna pop a further five pounds into my events binder, but I'm gonna let the dice choose. So basically I've decided that these are obviously in order of priority. So I'm gonna let it choose as to the first six events. So first six events are back to school, winter, then you've got birthday parties, we've got a mini break and Valentine's. And then obviously as one event passes, another one will move, but it'll actually let this decide for me as to where we're gonna pop this money. So this is decided four. So one, two, three, four. Ah, our mini break. That's exciting. So we can pop five pounds into our mini break. So now we have five and 10 pounds in there. That's a good start because we're going away in the beginning of February, which is good. We're actually going away to watch a Manchester United game for my son, which we got him tickets for for his birthday. So we're really excited about that. However, we found out literally a couple of days ago, they've changed the day. So we was meant to be going up there on the Saturday to watch the game. And they've now moved it to the Sunday, which is really, really, really frustrating. So the boys are probably gonna need to have some time off school. Um, I don't really know what's gonna happen with that, but it's just really annoying. They've changed the day and now it's clashed with an afternoon tea. I booked my mother-in-law. So yeah, a little bit frustrating. But next up is birthdays and we're working on my youngest son's birthday whose birthday is in the beginning of february so we're going to pop 10 and 15 into his binder i'm going to just start racking this one up pretty fast he doesn't need a lot to be completely honest with you it's not long being christmas and he has so much but i do want to start working on that and we're going to work on those in order of the birthdays and then we are going to do our Disney binder. I'm so excited this one is filling up. Like it really, really does excite me that we're working on this. So today this one is going to get 15 pounds and we're gonna do this one here. So I've got, we're gonna miss the 20 and go to the 15, because this one is a bonus cash stuff in. Oh, look, I can't believe how much 
this is already like building up. It does amaze me how quickly this happens. So there we go. 15 pounds crossed off on that one there. And then we have our 100 envelope challenge. And so I've said before, but I'm doing this a little bit differently and I'm actually cash stuffing 10 pounds into the 100 envelope challenge. I know that obviously this isn't the way that everyone does it, but I'm doing 10 pounds in every envelope and this will save me another thousand pounds once we are done. So 10 pounds are going into the second one there. Like so. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited to see this fill up. Like it's gonna look amazing. Oh, can't wait. So there's another 10 pounds in that one. And now we are moving on to our challenges. So where do we start? Is it this one that's Christmas? I think it is. So this one is Christmas and it was the Grinch one that got us because we needed to pop 10 pounds into the Grinch. So we will pop 10 pounds in now. And we now have in there 10, 20 and 25 for family photos. And I don't know whether I should scratch off another one yet or not. I think I'm just gonna wait until I decide to do something from the Christmas binder, I think. So I'm gonna leave that one for the time being. And then we have, these are what I'm gonna call our annual challenges. So we have our annual challenges here. So I'm gonna do the January challenge first. Obviously we're a bit behind with this. And obviously this is a bonus cash stuff in. So today I am going to cash stuff at 15 pounds and tick off these two smallest ones here. I'm just trying to have a look at what I've got here. Yeah, I'm gonna tick off these two smallest ones. So I'm gonna tick off the 10 and the 15 and the five, sorry, 10 and the five. So they are now ticked off and we've already got 15 in there. There's another 15 and then hopefully we will cash stuff that one and we'll get that January one out the way with. Then we have save the year and I absolutely love this challenge. So we are gonna add another five pounds into, we're gonna do save the year today. Yes, we are. So we're gonna add another five pounds, so three, four, five, and now we've done that front side. So we can pop five pounds in to save the year. And again, I can't believe how amazingly that's coming on. It's amazing how quickly it adds up. So with this one, I'm basically gonna take the money out after it's done for the month. And then once it's done, we're gonna put that towards, I think I said I was gonna put it towards an event. So we've still got a little bit more to cash stuff on the back side of that. I think there's another seven pounds to save on that one. And then we're not going to do any of these challenges. No, we're gonna leave those ones. And now we are moving on to this one. So we had so many to, to fill in from this one. I can't actually believe how bad this was. So we had 20 pounds to pop in for this one here. So I've decided I'm gonna do this a little bit differently, which I will explain in a second once I've put all the money inside because I can't be doing this many unknown figures each week. So we had 20 pounds from that one. We had 20 pounds to go into the crystal ball, which is just crazy. And then we also had five pounds to go into scratch and cash. Ooh. So let's tick that one off and we'll pop the fiver in there like so. Okay, so I'm wondering, I should probably tick that one off because we're doing these ones in a random order. So I'll tick that one off as well. So we know we've done that one. So what I've actually decided to do is I'm gonna do one scratch off a week, just to kind of give ourselves a little bit more time to kind of save for it and things like that. And then I'm also gonna do a roll the dice challenge as well. So we've got all of our scratch offs, which are at the beginning. So we've got three scratch offs and then we've also got our dice challenges here. So I'm basically gonna let it pick it for me. 
So I'm gonna get my dice and I'm basically gonna have the first one is one to two, two to three, no, one to two, three to four and five to six. So whatever number we roll is the number we're gonna scratch for this week. Five, okay. So five would be another scratch and cash. God, this one's filling up really quickly. Let's grab out some money. Which one? I'll tell you what, we're gonna roll the dice again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do us that ten? I'm sure I've got a ten side dice. I probably haven't even got it here. Oh. So let's let the dice pick for us which one we're gonna scratch. So we are gonna do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. £10. Okay, so that's not too bad. So in our next cash stuff in, we'll put £10 aside for scratching cash, which I don't think is too bad actually. Could have been worse, <laughs> but obviously it's building up slowly but surely. And then if we roll the dice on our Christmas challenge, if we roll the dice, I'm actually going to roll the dice and let the dice decide which ones we're going to save, which challenge we're going to save. So if we roll the dice and it lands on one, then we will scratch that one and we will save that one the following week. That's how I think I'm going to do it. Well guys, that's everything for today's Cash Stuff In. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. Do let me know down in the comments below if you did enjoy the card poll and if there's anything else you wanna see from me. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'm hoping that this way of doing the scratch offs is a little bit better. And I also wanna start getting some of my dice, dice kind of challenges started as well because I've not really had much cash left over once I've been filling up all of these other areas to do that. So hopefully we can start working on that in my next video as well. But that's everything from me and I will see you all in another video again very, very soon. Bye guys.